nothing to do with it? <laughs> you know. And it's just like, I was telling Melanie yesterday, if they did have something to do with it, thank you. Because I didn't want him anyway. <laughs> so you helped me out with that. And I mean, that's just kind of like, you know, uh one up on the Lord because when it comes to witches cursing Christians they don't realize that all of this is under God's sovereignty anyway so there's only so much they can do so I was like hey you freed me if that if that was anything to do with y'all because I was trying to get out of that word of marriage for a very long time so thank you but that happened she asked me if, uh, if the Lord has told me of a new one that he's giving me and I said no because he hasn't but even if he did I wouldn't tell you The fact that she even inquired about that, it, it was just very unsettling. Like, why now? Why would she ask you something like that? Why would she be interested in that? Does it matter? It's not your husband. It would be my husband. So if that wasn't enough to like, you know, confirm suspicions, I mean, or I'm saying like, if you wasn't, you know, having suspicions before, that would definitely, you know, make somebody that would raise an eyebrow or two. Like, peep, somebody who's not even saved, why are they asking you something like that? Like, why would you be interested in that? When I have something going good for me, they're never happy. Because sometimes God will just, you know, reveal certain things that he wants. Like the whole school thing that I was talking about, like, last month or two months ago. You just want somebody to talk to. So it's like, even though you, even though you know God already exposed these people to you, you tell them anyway. And it's, it's nothing too big. It's nothing secretive. The Lord, you know, wouldn't want you telling somebody. She just didn't care. So it's just kind of like people show you how people are treating you. It's going to be confirmation for what the Lord has been trying to show you in dreams. Like... They're never happy when something good happens for you. They don't try to help you develop and do good for yourself. There's been times I had certain interviews and I would like ask, you know, a certain relative if they could take me and they just oh made up some excuse for why they couldn't do it. So it's just like this whole idea of family, family, a family unit, the way God ordained it. I don't have to say this. It's it's support. It's love. It's looking out for one's brother or one's fellow neighbor. It's you want to see somebody do better than you're doing. The Lord tells us to, you know, esteem one another over ourselves. So family is always going to be laced in the love of God. It's not, it's not solely just due to you having a fleshly attachment to somebody as a relative. That's not family. The first murder, I keep telling people this, the first murder ever on earth was somebody killing their brother. I, so I don't even see how people are so family oriented. I really do think it's just covenants keeping people together, to be honest. I think it's just a whole bunch of, not, I don't think that is what it is. It's just a whole bunch of generational covenants and curses keeping certain Christians bound to these people who were unclean that God already told you he don't want you to have nothing to do with. And that's why you keep esteeming this family because your loyalty is with that demon spirit behind that bloodline. And that's what you don't know. You're really loyal to that demon that they all in agreement with. You're not fully submitted to the Holy Spirit like you're supposed to be. That's why you still see them as family. The Lord didn't say that. He didn't even call his mama his own family. He said, those who fear the Lord and do the will of God is my mother and sister and brother. There is a detachment there. They're not even in the kingdom. How, how are they your family? No, they're not your family. Your enemies will be in your own household. That's what God said. Family is what God says family is. And it's not the heathen. The heathen are not your family. If you are still claiming unsaved relatives as your family members, I'm not talking about the ones that God has grace upon that are eventually going to repent. I'm just saying in general, and you just still going around people like that and you still blending, something's wrong with you as a Christian. You need to, it ain't even about the, the people at that point. We're, we know they're disgusting and wicked. Why are you around them? Something's wrong with your walk. You got some covenants that need to be broken because you're loyal to the wrong party here. That ain't your family. Turn on you in a hot second. And most of them don't like you anyway. Family. I got more family and strangers I've met on YouTube than I have with these wicked people. Disgusting, sick people around here. In this bloodline. 
No. So, um, and that's not me being bitter or ugly. I don't even have any malice as I'm speaking about this. It just is what it is. If you trash, you trash. If you wicked, you wicked. If you don't like it, then fix it. If you don't like me saying it, fix it. You choose to be trash. Acting a fool, a grown woman, acting stupid, slinging word curses and whatever else you doing. It's going to get, I mean, trampled over anyway. I mean, when I'm finally ready to do something about it, it gets done. So I'm not really worried about that, but it's just the fact that you're doing it. You low-grade, low-quality, bottom-feeding human being. That's what you are. You're a vessel and a host for demonic spirits, and you're a worthless individual. Especially if you've rejected the Lord. So go ahead and keep being envious. You can be envious all the way to hell. And you can keep doing the stupid stuff that you're doing. Because the Lord keeps showing me that you continue with the word curses and all the witchcraft and all the gossiping. I will have him seal your mouth shut for good. Physically. You ain't going to be saying nothing. Have a stroke to where you can't speak since you like to gossip. Keep doing it. You ain't got nothing nice to say. You ain't got no... No space to bless nobody. You don't need to be saying anything. How about that? Wondering why they be sick all the time. Can't stand that. I'll never understand that. Witches. You always gossiping about somebody and always cursing somebody. And, you know, wondering why you have so many issues in life. Why you stay sick. Why you keep having to go back to the hospital. Maybe it's God's judgment upon you for what you're doing to his people. You can't catch the signs that your health ain't good. I mean, you think that you would have common sense with the slander that you keep emitting from your mouth that it comes back tenfold, honey. Shut your mouth and maybe you'll be blessed. Maybe your health will improve. <sighs> they start to look like what's in them, like what's in their heart. It starts to manifest outwardly, looking like a hag, looking like a hot mess. Get yourself together doing foolish stuff like that. It's the last game you want to play. Because witchcraft is equivalent to the anointing of God. You can play the game if you want to with the right person. It'll slap you right in the face three times harder. Ridiculous. You want to be a witch. Well, go ahead, honey, with your bad self. Yeah, we need to start, you know, walking in our authority a lot more. You got some sisters that's gifted with intercession that can help you. And even if you're not gifted in intercession, you're still anointed either way. You have the anointed one inside of you. And you can do something about this if you choose to. You can be the Christian that chooses to be passive and don't do anything. And just sleep on the dreams. And just stay yoked to the people because you're just so intimidated by them. Intimidated for what? They should be intimidated by you. They probably are intimidated by you. That's why they act like they're with you. They're scared of you. Keep playing the kind of games you play, and I'll send you behind in a freaking casket real quick. I don't play them types of games with people. You want to act stupid and be wicked, then go where the wicked go. I don't have no pity for you. Go to hell. Where they do stupid mess like this. Nothing but chaos and confusion there. That's all you want to bring any mitt here and try to send it against me? Go there. Quickly. Spare us all. No. No.